Right now at 10, we want to give you a live look at the interstate in Columbia County. It's finally reopening after traffic was tied up most of the afternoon and evening. A semi truck swerved to avoid a collision and caused serious damage to Interstate 10 in Columbia County. That trailer carrying heavy machinery that fell off and busted several holes on the overpass to I-70 Pump. So that incident closed both interstates for hours. We just learned, though, all lanes are reopened now. Sky 4 was over the scene as traffic snarled for hours. You can see it there. News 4 Jacks reporter Corley Peel spoke with the truck driver who was involved in the accident. She's joining us live from the detour with a live look at traffic, how the truck driver is doing as well. Corley. Traffic is moving at a better pace now. Now that all lanes of I-75 here are back open. You can see there's not much traffic here now. It is moving at a steady pace, but the truck driver involved in the accident tells me he is shaken up, but fortunately he was not hurt. He says he swerved to dodge a driver who drove into his lane. FDOT shared these photos of holes on the Interstate 10 bridge overpass at I-75 after troopers say a semi truck swerved to avoid a collision Monday afternoon, but what he was carrying fell off and caused a lot of damage to the overpass. I spoke with the truck driver Trevor Hines, who says he was scared for his life. He was trying to enter I-10 uh, and I guess he just wasn't paying attention and she veered off of my lane and I had to swerve to keep from him. According to FHP, Hines was traveling west on I-10. As Hines approached the interchange, troopers say a car traveled in front of him. When Hines swerved, trying not to hit the car, a piece of large machinery weighing 45,000 pounds fell off the trailer of the truck, causing major damage to the roadway and overpass, according to FHP. Almost, like I said, almost turned my truck over, but I brought it to a stop. Crews shut down both interstates for hours, backing up traffic for miles. What was going through your mind when you were sitting there stuck in traffic? Hoping that we could move on and continue to watch my gas can and uh, hopefully that we would, you know, get on through traffic without any other further delay. Hines says he hopes drivers will pay better attention so truck drivers don't have to dodge them on the interstate. Do you feel like you're dodging traffic on a regular basis as a truck driver? I mean, we have to watch out for them more than they have to watch out for us. I see that. Hines says a driver who swerved into his lane did continue driving. For the latest traffic information, you can find that on our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live from Columbia County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.